FishBio is an international consulting firm specializing in monitoring, research, and conservation. In the U.S., FishBio is situated along the west coast and based out of California. One of our offices resides in Chico, a city in Northern California. Chico is a beautiful small city with vibrant people that are actively involved in community events and the outdoors. The city is most iconic for Bidwell Park, which spans through almost 20% of the town. Bidwell Park is one of the top 25 largest urban parks in the U.S. and it is over 11 miles in length. Big Chico Creek flows through the heart of Bidwell Park in downtown Chico. It's really a convenient location for families to come together and go for a swim and people to run or bicycle ride. Chico Creek is also important for providing a home to protected fish species like steelhead and spring-run Chinook salmon. While you may think that would result in the stream receiving a lot of attention and research, that's not necessarily the case. A lot of the larger streams nearby that harbor the, the really large populations of, say, salmon and steelhead receive a lot of attention from the resource agencies, and that's typically where the monitoring and research is focused. However, small creeks also provide an an integral component of the larger population in the Central Valley or in the Northern Central Valley, yet there exists a knowledge gap regarding how many fish there are, how well they're doing from year to year. We attempt to fill that knowledge gap by providing this information for smaller creeks, starting with Big Chico Creek. We saw Big Chico Creek as an excellent stream to research for this very reason, as a part of our give back program to the community and local resource managers. We began monitoring Big Chico Creek in 2013, and what's interesting about that is the last research conducted similar to what we did was done over 10 years ago. The survey this year was slightly larger or slightly longer than last year, because last year we covered the creek within the boundaries of the ecological reserve, which is about four and a half miles. And this year, private landowners upstream of the reserve graciously gave us permission to extend our survey all the way to the barrier um, to anadromy or the, the highest place in the watershed where fish coming from the ocean such as salmon and steelhead can go and that place is called Higgins Hole on Big Chico Creek. There's actually been some fairly aggressive management techniques that occurred uh, around 1986. Resource managers thought it'd be a great idea to remove all the fish in one section of stream and by doing this they basically poisoned them with a poison called rotenone. Then they took and restocked that section of stream with game fish, thinking, gosh, if we remove everything and there's no competition, and we put game fish back in, it'll be a great spot to go fishing. Well, that was a not so good practice, and it ended up removing all of the native fish, which made it hard for the stream to actually function as it was supposed to. As it turns out, um, abundances of native fishes, or of most made native fishes, is still very, very low. Fish abundances are estimated through snorkel surveys, which is often the preferred method of estimating abundance when you're dealing with endangered or threatened species, simply because it's a non-invasive method. It's an observational method where there's no need to capture the fish, handle the fish, or cause any undue stress to the fish. However, snorkel surveys are only effective in relatively small waters where divers have complete visual coverage of the stream. But luckily in Big Chico Creek and, and most Central Valley streams, um, conditions during the summer month are typically suitable for such surveys due to the lack of rainfall during summer and low and clear flows. The goal of our research in Big Chico Creek is really twofold. First, we really want to get the public excited about Big Chico Creek with the imagery and the videos and the information that we provide. Also, we'd like to inform research managers. This type of information provides a status on the trends of the fish population so they can better understand if the stream is doing better or if it's doing worse and if there's things that they should be doing to help improve it. Typically when we, when we go about a snorkel survey, especially in a place that we haven't been to before, that we haven't previously mapped, our crew consists of several people habitat typing or mapping the creek, basically meaning splitting it into different habitat units and measuring the dimensions of these habitat units as well as collecting some additional information, what the water temperature is, if there's any woody cover in the water, if there's shade cover, um, those types of things. 
and the second part of the crew consists of the, of the snorkelers and the data keeper. So once the habitat mapping is complete and, and once we determined whether or not a particular unit is selected for snorkeling or for surveying, the dive crew will get in the water with as many people as it takes to ensure complete visual coverage of the stream. They enter the creek at the downstream end and proceed in an upstream fashion counting fish as they observe them. Once they get to the top of the unit, they call out their fish counts to the data keeper. We enter the counts on the data sheet for subsequent processing and, and analysis. We documented five different fish species in this survey, including introduced brown trout, native riffle sculpin, California roach, Sacramento sucker, and of course, uh, native rainbow trout. During the summer of 2013, we estimated just over 2,500 rainbow trout on the Big Chico Creek Ecological Reserve, corresponding to a density of about 560 rainbow trout per mile. This year, abundance of rainbow trout was notably lower for an estimated abundance of just over 3,200 fish in the entire reach, all the way to Higgins Hole, which corresponds to a density of about 482 trout per mile. It's too early to detect any trends in the population after only two years of surveys, which is why it's so important to continue these uh, monitoring surveys to establish long-term trends in fish population abundance that then allow us to identify reasons when fish species or fish populations decline or increase. We're excited about our current efforts on Big Chico Creek and want to continue monitoring for the next years to come. We're really hoping that our efforts and our research reports will garner more interest in Big Chico Creek and possibly more research. From the community perspective, we hope that people get really excited about the work that we're doing and possibly get involved in maybe a citizen research effort or possibly a stream cleanup. But overall, the most important thing is we're excited about being involved in researching Big Chico Creek and feel the future's bright for it.